Today I want to talk a little bit about the Esbit stove. This is one of those um, things that I really wanted, wanted, wanted to love. And uh, today I'm going to do a little review of it. And I'm also going to uh, show you a little DIY thing I did. Um, with a lot of help from uh, a buddy of mine, Swamp Ass. He kind of did a lot of the research on on what needed to be done to improve the efficiency of it. I'll go over the pros a little bit. <clears throat> uh, the pros are it's small, it's light, everything needed for a few days can be contained in the pot. It's uh, it's multi It can be multi-purpose. You can use uh, an alcohol stove with it as well as Esbit tablets. Uh, what I really liked about the original Esbit stove as it came is it was really easy to use, no fuss, it's low cost and one of the great things is you know exactly how much fuel is left. Um, with the canister stoves you know a lot of times you drag along an extra canister because you're never quite sure how much is in the one you have. Um, I think the cons are uh, if you need fuel for longer than a fuel than a few days, you're probably better off with the canister stove um, uh, because of how much more efficient uh, a jet boil stove is compared to the Esbit. Uh, to carry enough fuel for the Esbit, you would be for you know two weeks. You would probably be exceeding the weight of your uh, of your jet boil. So of course the one thing is as you use the Esbit, the fuel. Uh, is used up and doesn't weigh anymore where the canister stove you continue to have the heavy metal canister anyway that's kind of the pros and cons let's open this up and I'll show you how it kind of comes from the uh, when you buy it and then I'll show you I'll reset and show you what what I did what we did uh, giving swamp ass Rob a little credit there uh, um, to make this thing actually work good one thing I found out about the stove, and like I say, it's really cool when it comes to efficiency. Um, you see I have a lighter and an Asbit tablet. You simply take the tablet out of the package, put it in there, set that on top, and you are ready to go. Light the tablet and you're ready to go. It's a cool little stove, it really is, and the idea is neat. Here's the problem is that um, the first time I used it, it was about 25 degrees out and one tablet barely made the uh, the um, water in the stove which it holds uh, two cups barely made it lukewarm uh, so I thought well okay it doesn't work well in cold weather so I used it about 55 cloudy rainy day uh, and uh, I ran into a similar problem. One tablet just wasn't going to do it. So I kind of thought, well, maybe a tablet and a half. Yeah, a tablet and a half will get water to boil in it. But it just didn't, it just felt like, um, like it wasn't using stuff very, like it wasn't using the Esbit tablets as efficiently as it could. Um, and I think a lot of the problem is the the uh, pot holder itself soaks up a lot of the heat and because it's an aluminum uh, because everything is aluminum it dissipates that heat really really quickly so it doesn't allow a lot of that heat to absorb into the water um, I was okay I guess with this setup and, and using a tablet and a half to boil on warm days I don't know what it would take on a cold day you know if you were uh, uh, if you were 23 degrees I'm guessing you have to use two tablets maybe more to get it to boil it just when it's cold out it's just not going to boil and windy as well it's I, I don't know if you get it to work at all on a cold day so with cold days it's just I think this setup is just not going to uh, to work well but let me reset here and I'll show you um, some of the things that we did in the changes and uh, and uh, I'll kind of show you how that works and uh, what what it did for us in the way of boil times and such
Okay. By the way, um, in this configuration that I currently have it in, it weighs about the same as it does from the factory configuration, which is about eight ounces um, with a Bic lighter. Um, that's about half of what my jet boil titanium weighs with a cylinder of um, of uh, fuel, where this doesn't have any fuel in it at that weight. But I don't think it's unfair to weigh the jet boil with the cylinder because you're always going to have the weight of the cylinder and the weight of the fuel in the cylinder is actually only an ounce or two um, and you're always going to have the weight of the cylinder so people that weigh their jet boil and say well it only weighs this much or weigh their pot their, uh, when they're using a canister so without the canister and say well I don't count the fuel well you have to count the weight of the fuel container and anyway let's see what it looks like now I want to show you what it looks like now um, again, same pot, only now inside we have a homemade caldera cone system. And I'll put links to where you get the dimensions for these cones. But you start out by laying out your aluminum foil. And then the stove is a Esbit graham cracker stove, and I'll have plans. I'll point you to where the plans for that are as well. Um, and then we have the cone system. Now, I used. Uh, I like using the uh, paper clips on the cones. Uh, to hold them together. Uh, I still, I did use the bend, the bend to hold, uh, to hold the bottom cone together. I did not do that for the top of the cone. I'm just using the paper clips for that because it seems to work well. Um, and all you do is fit these little slots And I freely admit that um, the caldera cone here increases the fuss factor considerably. Uh, and that is a kind of a sore spot for me. I don't like the, the added fuss factor. paper clip right there to hold that together. Okay. Now of course you'd like your you'd like your Esbit tablet. Just take it out of the package, put it in there, light it, put the cone over it, and your pot of water fits right in there like that. And that completely improves the efficiency of this. Um, not only does it keep it out of the wind better, but literally I'm down to seven to eight minute boils with a single tablet. And it doesn't even use the whole tablet. I end up with almost half to two thirds of, or to a third of a tablet left, um, which I promptly put on top of the next tablet that I'm gonna use and then I have enough on the next tablet for two boils so it 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 does work very well um, uh, the only thing I say is I'm not happy with the plus factor I think that I think that putting the cone together um, uh, is a bit of a, a pain I have thought about uh, making the cone just a single piece what you can do there are plans for that as well the downside of that for me, of course, is I have this anal retentive need to keep everything in the same, everything neatly organized, and um, I like the idea of everything fitting in the pot. Uh, anyway, the bottom line is, is uh, when it's cold out, I'm still going to use the jet boil. The jet boil is fast, it's easy, it's simple. 
Um, if I'm going to be gone for more than a couple weeks, the jet boil titanium rocks, that's what I'll take. Um, the other thing about this is uh, my buddy Rob, Swamp Ass, he swapped out and he also uses just a fancy feast cat food can. Just a can with the with the lid removed. Nothing fancy like these alcohol stoves. You know, nothing fancy like that. It's just a fancy piece can with the with the lid removed and with this cone putting half an ounce of, of alcohol in, he gets burns and times in in about six minutes. So if you really like alcohol and don't mind uh, messing around with alcohol, this cone also gives you that option and it works really well. And this is a Caldera clone uh, cone. So if you want to buy one from Caldera, of course, they, they sell titanium ones and all kinds of uh, uh, more expensive ones. But there, it's just made out of uh, flashing. You can buy it at the local hardware store for you know, I think I paid for a 12 inch by 10 foot sheet, I think it was $8 or something like that. So, anyway, that's what it is. Uh, leave comments, let me know what you think. And, uh, we'll see you next time.